My name is Nima Anchu and I am going to present on Corporate Trouble Management. Introduction. Corporate Trouble Management is a global trouble management company that specializes in providing trouble and accommodation service to business and organization. It offers a comprehensive suite of trouble solution aimed at helping companies manage their trouble expenses efficiently while ensuring the safety and convenience of their employee on move. CEO statement. The CEO interpretation about the company's strategy planning and its annual performance are presented in the following slide. Strategy framework. The strategy initiative took by corporate trouble management drive different parts of organization activities and mean to drive development, adjust to evolving condition, upgrade inner cycle, engage staff, and unite and unite their presence in North America following and obtaining. Corporate trouble management expect to support its natural development by further developing its incentives to take care of client needs across its worldwide organization. They intend to accomplish this by devoting a group of self the key worldwide client fragment. This suggests an emphasis on client maintenance, fulfillment and development inside their current client base. Perceiving the effect of coronavirus on the moment business, corporate trouble management has put resources into innovative improvement. This incorporates the production of a coron coronavirus information center point, which probably include gathering and examining information connected with the pandemic effects on movement. Corporate Trouble management is inserting inner development to smooth out and robotize existing cycle, both client confronting and non-client confronting. This shows a promise to functional effectiveness and further develop help convince through through mechanical and process enhancement. The organization means to engage its staff by empowering them to pursue administrative choice. This this in Strengthening can promote higher staff commitment and accordingly further develop client fulfillment. This drive purpose are group driven ways to deal with hierarchical development. Corporate travel management has put resources into enlistment project to bring back around 950 staff during the last part of financial year 2022. This cannot guarantee to ability obtaining and maintaining as the features of their development technique. Following the procurement of movement and transport in October 2022, corporate travel management has been dealing with coordinating their tasks in North America onto a solitary stretch. This combination plan to make area for strength for a versatile development stage for the organization in the North America district. It recommends an additional work to outfit cooperative energies form. Annual performance of corporate travel management. Improvement in financial performance. Corporate travel management monetary exhibition has shown critical empowerment contrast with their earlier year. Basically, because of the effect of coronavirus pandemic, the organization reveals the net benefit after charge owing to properties of dollar three point one million, a significant circle backed from the earlier year deficiency deficiency of dollar fifty five point four million. Internal base probability profitability. The basic net. Benefit before charge, which is one of or non repeating things, was accounted for at $22.3 million. It recommends that the organization plan of actions and monetary. Diversify revenue. Corporate travel management capacity to take to keep an expanded income stream from client. Universally assume a critical part in its versatility during a difficult working climate. 
this very probable probable diminishes the organization reliance on any one area or client portion making it more versatile to show fasciculation liquidity position the organization completed the year with the solid liquidity position holding dollar 142.1 million in real money and no obligation moreover it approached committed assets of excess of dollar 100 million the solid monetary position permitted corporate trouble management to uh, renegotiate its obligation revenue growth regardless of the difficulties presented by the pandemic corporate trouble management experience income development constantly with speed increase in the final quarter the development is a positive sign proposing that as corporate trouble auction recaptured quickly corporate trouble management was strategically suited to catch new business valuable open door dividend framework the organization choose to deliver an unfranked profit of five pennies from every offer on 5 october 2022 reflects trust in its monetary position and standpoint for financial year 23 the board's strategy to furnish investor with return through profit identical to half of the gathering net benefit after expenses in later period shows a guarantee to come to compensating investor while keeping up with monetary soundness corporate trouble management operation people and culture corporate trouble management organization that is keen and cooperative culture are major to its prosperity they have a worldwide group of 2,855 full-time full-time same representative spread, spread across four worldwide district financial overview corporate trouble management monetary presentation mirrors the effect of the coronavirus pandemic with the critical improvements of in improvement in financial year 2022 contrast with the earlier year they reveal a net benefit after duty of dollar 3.1 million a prominent circle back from the deficiency of dollar 55.4 million in the early year revenue growth not standing with the difficulties presented by the pandemic corporate trouble management experienced income development over time especially in the field in the final quarter when go limit when go limitation started to ease the bounce back in moment action in the final quarter was significant with brush income surprising surprising that of the similar period in financial year 2019 pre covid diversification ctm monetary strengthen and execution during the pandemic suited the organization for vital open door they gain by this by making a making a few acquisition remembering in helen hello hello world corporate and diversion organization for australian and new zealand as well as safe to travel in singapore ratio analysis liquidity ratio for the year 2022 the current ratio was 116.39 percent and in the year 2021 it was 125.2 4 percent quick ratio for the year 2022 was 116.02 percent while in the 2021 it was 124.86 percent this decline could be create credited to a different variable for example an expansion in monetary obligation challenges over challenges in overseeing stock or record receivable if effectively huge capital use or a functional issue affecting income
solvency ratio. Debt to equity ratio in the year 2022 was 40% while in the year 2021 it was 34%. Debt ratio was 28% in the year 2022 and it was 25% in the year 2021. The increase in debt to equity ratio and debt ratio, debt ratio is representing the company's financial difficulty as they are not getting the required finance from their operation and that's, that's why the debt financing is taking place which got increased as compared to the last year. Probability gross profit ratio in the year 22 was 7.61%. However, in the year 2021, 20, it was negative 24.06%. Net profit ratio was 9.35% in the year 2022 and it was minus 42.98% in the year 2021. Return on equity ratio in the year 2022 was 3.4%. However, it was only it was negative ten point three one percent in the year twenty twenty one. The company was in loss in year in twenty twenty one, but it came to profit in twenty twenty two. And the range from where the corporate transport management has converted their loss to profit percentage is very impressive and shows the sound sound mental health and strong commitment of the running of the company. Both of the profit ratio are very good and not only had they got positive profit ratio but also a very good return on equity from their investors as well. Efficiency ratio. Return on asset uh, ratio was 2.41% in the year 2022 and it was minus 7.59% in 2021. Market performance. Return on shareholders equity was 4% in the year 2022 and it was negative 12 in the year 2021. The improved probability and the return on equity are the main reason for which the return on asset is showing increase in their asset because when the operation are utilizing the asset very well, then the probability and return on asset are getting good result. Conclusion In the end, in the end corporate transport and management strategy planning for financial year 22 is spin around upgrading client streams, adjusting the coronavirus challenges, streamlining inner cycle, engaging staff, extending their labor force, and coordinating broker organization for future development. This drive all in all means to switch corporate transport management as the uh, cutthroat and creative player in the corporate travel, the boat business. Corporate travel management yearly exhibits for the year being referred to has all the unmarked of being an account of versatility and flexibility. The organization effectively dealt with the difficulties achieved by the coronavirus pandemic, got back to benefit, kept area of, of strengthening for a position and suited itself for development as corporate travel movements recaptured. The choice to deliver profit and the afflicting perspective for the approaching year reflects trust in the future possibilities. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.